Good morning, Park 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 Pandas. Pandas. This is Arabella. And this is Owen. It's time for a video. Today the video is about growth mindset. What does a growth mindset mean? A growth mindset is believing that your brain can grow and you can learn many new things. We, We all are not born smart. We become smart by trying over and over, not giving up. Let's watch our video. The greatest discovery of all time is that a person can change his future by merely changing his attitude. Hi everybody, my name is Gerald. I want to talk to you about creating a growth mindset. I heard that you've been learning about a growth mindset. Am I right? Have you heard of Michael Jordan? He is known as the best NBA basketball player of all time. This is what he says. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 900 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot, and 26 times I've missed. I've failed over and over again, and that's why I succeed. Michael Jordan has a growth mindset. This is also known as a positive attitude. There are two different kinds of mindsets. There's a fixed mindset, If you always have a fixed mindset, you'll never go anywhere. And then there's a growth mindset. Have you ever heard of Thomas Edison? He created the light bulb. Can you imagine a world without light bulbs? We would all be living in the dark. Whew, that's better. Did you know Thomas Edison failed at least a thousand times? That's a lot, isn't it? But Thomas Edison had a growth mindset. This is how he puts it. I have not failed 1,000 times. I have successfully discovered 1,000 ways not to make a light bulb. If he didn't have a growth mindset, he would not have stuck to it and created the famous light bulb. And we might still be living in the dark if it weren't for Thomas Edison's bright idea. My message to you today is for you to create a growing mind. The road to success is not always easy. Don't ever give up. Be positive and you will succeed. It's very frustrating when you don't succeed, but you can keep trying to get better. Every day you have a choice to stay stuck or to work at your goal. Don't forget that February is I Love to Read Month here at Park Group, so keep on reading. Mrs. Dean has made a display by the beanbags of all the books that are being read in each second grade through fifth grade classroom. Check it out when you're in the library. And definitely check out the windows by the library to see what book students are reading. There are tons of titles. It was fun writing my book on the window. This week is Random Acts of Kindness Week. Today's kindness challenge is brighten someone's day by saying something kind. Tomorrow you can wear a sports jersey or something with your favorite sports team on it. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Puffy Pandas. We're signing off from the PNN News. Now it's all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bye. Bye.